Okay, so this is like an overview of the castle, of the build that we're gonna do. Uh, we don't have much time, otherwise this is gonna be like a two hour tutorial, but I'm trying my best to explain it to you guys as fast as possible. So we have one gate over here, a second gate over here, nicely implemented in the base design. We have two turrets on the left, two turrets on the right, one turret up, one turret up, in case they try to rate tower, what is impossible in my eyes. Um, there's only one thing that I really want to show you guys. On uh, Below here is one 2-cup. On the other side, in here, is a 2-cup. And I can show you guys this, it's in this triangle. So, now in this tower, in every corner is another 2-cup and in the center is another 2-cup. Now, there's gonna be more two cups as further you go up, but I'm not gonna show you guys this, um, otherwise this is gonna be like five tutorials in one and I cannot do this in a certain time. But if we go down over here, this is like one example, this door always stays open. Why? If you close it, there's a door and there's a two cup behind it, as you can see. Now this is always gonna stay open because they can't see that's anything behind. That's why we have this door. Guys, it's no need to have like two doors behind each other. This is enough. Now this is in every corner of the base. So we have the towers over here. We have, um, let me show you. We have like a small balcony over here to shoot from. If we go inside, we have like an overview of the, um, furnace room now i want to explain you guys this um very fast you have like two choices you can build this in the water and you're gonna find a place very fast or you can try to build this on land and you're gonna find those places but it's not so common because it's a big ass motherfucking base now if i would move this base a little bit to the right over here we could place large furnaces and I figured out that uh, I had some troubles with that as well um, because I didn't thought about it but just for you guys sake uh, I'm gonna explain how to build it for the large furnace and I'm gonna make something for small furnaces as well so if you guys fuck up at one point, you can convert it to a small furnace room as well. And an epic one, for sure. So, we don't have much time. Um, let's go around. So we have the towers. We have like small areas over here. We can shoot down if they try to breach from that side. Also, um, we can use this to go to the other side as well. Which is very nice. Um... You can do a lot of things in here as well. You can place more um, external walls as well. I'm not gonna show you guys all the doors. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna see it in Fortify as we build it. Now, how do you get inside the base? I'm gonna show you guys quick. So we have one gate over here. We have a door. We have another door. We have uh, yeah, no. I'm a little bit wrong. So we have one gate over here. We have a door over here. It's a bit confusing while I'm flying. We go through here and there are ladders here. You go up the ladder, you come in here. And then you go through this door. You follow this like so. You go up the stairs. You go through here. You have like a safe area over here. You go through the door, through the door. You come to here. This is an overlapping, by the way. This is why this base design is so crucial that you do it the right way because otherwise everything is fucked up. So, yeah, pay attention. Okay, I'm gonna go down. So we're opening one gate. We're opening another gate. You can shoot through the gates, by the way, guys. Um, very easy. Okay, now we have a lot of uh, doors in here. This is all gonna be farming areas. Um, I didn't place it over here. But this is all gonna be farming areas. You can place a ceiling with a ceiling light. Let's... To let it grow faster, of course. Um, but yeah, that's all up to you. We have another door here. And... We have a chest here. So let's get on. 
we have a ladder hatch let's jump on let's go up now I would suggest uh, place a double door here guys uh, I wanted to place a ladder hatch but that's not possible because we need a pillar guys um, so place a double door here now this is the loot room okay so when I place something over here it's gonna make it stone directly but all the things you see in here all the stairs and all the uh, ceilings you have to imagine that's all twig so if you play the game and you're online in your base you're gonna make like twig stairs and twig ceilings to get on top of everything to get to all the loot rooms very easy after you are done with playing and you want to log out you're gonna destroy everything now we have another hatch over here and that's to get to the highest points please make like a half hole here otherwise you're gonna yeah you're gonna fly so you can still place like barricades over here but um, this is the best view you're gonna get on this base especially if you're getting attacked by 15 guys or something it's nice to have like two three snipers in here on top of this roof um, very nice next uh, the loot room is working in levels on the bottom level you're gonna place only the normal junk in the game normal clothes uh, food things like that on the second part you're gonna place like weapons but not the best weapons I'm talking about the semi-automatic rifle the P2 things like that and maybe armor uh, on the highest level you're gonna place the most important stuff like the C4 and things like that um, so that's all gonna be very secured we have like ceiling lights as well um, I placed them but I'm not using them because the uh, lanterns are giving me more aesthetic wise a good feeling about the base it's very nice when it's dark so yeah this is like the perfect overview I can give you guys as fast as possible at least uh, let's go to fortify and uh, we're gonna start with the layout first in fortify by the way um, how, how to place the uh, two cups first and your starter base in the middle because I did spend a lot of time working at this base and I was thinking a couple of days how the hell can I explain it to you guys in a fast as way possible um, and a safest way possible because you are playing on a populated server um, how to make like a starter base and grow from there without making any mistakes and for example if you only start in the middle and there's like one of other guy building like a base over here yeah your base design is fucked by that guy and we know there's a lot of trolls in rust so that's not gonna happen with our design i'm gonna explain it to you guys so yeah let's go to fortify okay here we are in fortify um first things first uh we're gonna start with the layout of the main base there we go now very important to know guys if you play on a vanilla server I would say make a doorway in here but if you play on a modded server just do a set home don't make a door because it's gonna be much safer for you but if you play on a vanilla server of course place a door now we have our little starter base over here I was first thinking of make it too high but then they can triple jump very easily now the next part what we are willing to do is place a two cup of course as well so let's do that quick like so now we want to determinate this is our main base the wall is gonna go uh, around it we want to place all the two cups already in the right place so nobody can build close as well after we done that we're gonna see what the resource count is so you guys have a pretty good idea what it's gonna cost to start so everything what i do now i'm gonna say put this in twig put this in stone uh, follow this so put this in twig this is all stone by the way so put this in twig just gonna build it in twig over here gonna place a square again twig 
build weg. Okay. This foundation, you're gonna make it to stone. And you're gonna delete all the rest. Like so. On the other side, you're gonna do the same. So, you're gonna do this. You're gonna place one square. You're gonna do it again in twig. You're gonna place two squares. You're gonna make this one stone. And you're gonna delete all the rest. Now, this is not a two cup, but you're gonna need this later. So, just make it stone as we can progress a little bit further. Okay, the next thing what we want to do, you're gonna make this twig. You're gonna do this, one, two, and you're gonna place a triangle. On the other side as well, twig, triangle, and you can make this all stone by the way. Um, that's gonna stay. Now over here, you're gonna place some walls and you're gonna place one two cup inside of this guys this is gonna be a long tutorial <laughs> i'm trying to explain it as good as possible for you guys but this is very important if you really want to build this base uh, you have to be prepared for the trolls in rust so this is what you have right now now we need to place four more two cups how can we do this okay from this one and we gonna you can choose you can make this twig if you don't have the resources right now or you can make it stone directly it's all up to you but what i'm gonna place right now is also gonna stay we're gonna do this so this is three Oh yeah, very important guys, um, how can I explain this? To the inside of the base, you know, this is a square, so inside over here is that direction, inside over here is that direction, that direction, that direction. So over here, you're not gonna place a wall, you're gonna place a wall frame, and you are gonna try to place a double door. And try to make it because fortify is always fucked up for me but the doors has to go to the outside Okay, after we place the uh, tool cups, we are safe as for now. Now, um, I told you guys, if you have uh, not the resources to make this all stone, you can remove this and place this later again. This was already stone. This will be removed, but this is the most important thing. This is the most important thing. But uh, tool cups, let's take a look. This is our radius at the moment. Now the middle one, check this out, how clean, how nice, how perfectly organized this is. There is, in my opinion, no freaking way that they can rate out your base. There's no way. The only way for them to go in through the gates, through all the, the freaking turrets, or through a tower, and even if they have this tool cup, this one is overlapping, this one is over... I mean, it's... It's fucking ridiculous. It's... It's a monster, in my eyes. So, two cups, check. So we have that now. Uh, what should we do now? Well, 
if you made this stone already um, best thing for you to do right now just go further around on this side because this is one of your big towers on the corner of your base just do this oh. like so there we go you don't have to fill in the middle if you are low on resources um, So here we are now, we have our big towers, we have the small towers already in place, we have the main base already in place. Now I don't know how I'm gonna do this, um, it's possible that I'm gonna bring out a tutorial before this video with the method of how to implement the uh, high external gates inside your base, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway because I don't know what's gonna come first. So let me uh, try to explain this very fast to you. You have an external gate and you have an external wall. Okay, if you look at this, the external gate is much bigger than the external wall. Now, if you place them next to each other and we take like a square foundation, the external wall is exactly two foundations wide, while the external gate is a little bit less than three foundations a little bit okay I'm gonna show you guys the other way as well uh, for example if you're not building this base but another base for example you have like a round thing over here okay you have some walls over here you want to have like this is your outer wall or your base uh, doesn't matter you want to place a gate over here now instead of taking like a gate and place it and guessing and whatsoever, there is a better way for this. If you have like triangles and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out this way and then a square foundations, again triangle but you go like 3 up, you're gonna place another round over here and you're gonna remove all the rest. Now if we take our gates this is gonna overlap a little bit but you can place this in game i'm talking about january 2017 after the big patch with the overlapping you can place this no problem i explain it to you guys so the next part what we have to do in this build is we're gonna take two square foundations over here like so, we're gonna do it everywhere at the same time, okay. Then we're gonna build this round, go round, over here the same, round, go round, there we go. We have the same situation as we had previous, now we're gonna take our little gates and we're gonna line it up very nice like so on the other side we're gonna do the same there we go so now we have our gates and by the way guys i didn't tell you in time but i wrote it down so i know it to have your starter base in here and all the two cups all around without the gates of course and the layout so for example you make this twig only this and place all two cups it's gonna cost you around 40 uh, 40k stone around 40 50k stone but also with the three walls up already next thing we're gonna do the entire layout right now
okay now we have to work on this side a little bit so we have two square foundations here you're gonna place two more square foundations behind it and then on the outside one so away from the base again you're gonna place one triangle on this side again two square ones and as close to the two cup triangle then you're gonna take your stairs and you're gonna place it like this like so you're gonna take another triangle and you're gonna do this you're gonna connect it that it has like this weird of kind of shape okay here we are um, this is the entire overview of the uh, base finished by the way now guys I wanted to do a speed up build video first um, I'm not gonna be able to do that because I have a lot of other things on my mind and this tutorial is taking a long time already but I want to explain it to you guys and if you want the Fortify uh, file you can always add me on Skype and um, yeah you can ask it there I will be happy to give it to you guys but um, let's start with from the bottom all the way up so this part we already know except um, I did some more honeycombing in here of course this uh, you can also honeycomb it um, that would be even smarter also um, what I also wanted to point out is like if you go a little bit up like there's a stairs here and there's nothing below here except for this door now there's always a possibility if you think about it you can honeycomb the fuck out of this as well so your base become even more stronger um, you can use this space but if you want to use space I just uh, I would say honeycomb this and all the way up over here in the tower you can you can do something in here as well so it's more secured also because if you think about it and you 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 take a look at the base um, this is honeycombing you can also honeycomb this even more so it's more secured so actually if you do it like this they only have like two options and that's through the gates and that's your advantage with the doors and the turrets and you want them to go through there for sure so if you take like this area and honeycomb the fuck out of it it's gonna be a very more strong base design uh, but anyway let's go further up so basically this is all the uh, this is all the same um, I definitely didn't finish this guys but it's more of the idea that I want to give you because there gotta be a wall here I mean everybody knows that um, but it's an interesting design it's not the easiest one uh, it was a pain in the ass for me to to figure out um, how to fit in the main base connected actually um, uh, the symmetry around it um, but I managed anyway if you go one more up um, so it's three high everywhere uh, the rest you guys know let's go one more up it's four high you have like uh, windows over here of course you guys knew that already um, let's go one more okay now this part is very interesting so I made it like four high here and I created like a um, like a bridge and that's gonna be connected with the base over here like so now this is a little bit different because I was using an other fortify file in the beginning um, but it's almost the same uh, it's possible you have a little bit of overlap but it's doable I did it in game so yeah um, so we have the rooms here with the uh, plantage um, that's also very interesting if you don't want to go farming for cloth and things like that and you want to have food enough for your clan members definitely an option I would do that for sure now the um, the um, 
metal cell gates. Um, it's more aesthetic wise that I place them, but it's it's gives me a feeling of like a bird cage or something like that. But it's epic as fuck in my opinion. Um, if we go uh, before we go one up, so I place two doors here. Um, we need the pillars over here, by the way. Uh, if we go one more down. Um, so this is all honeycombed. Uh, normally there's like one turret here and one turret here. If they manage to breach all the way in. Um, don't forget to uh, place the pillars, by the way, guys. Okay. So we place like a box here. Also, uh, what I told you guys in the beginning of the video, it would be easy to place like a ceiling over here and place like a ceiling light or something like that. Don't place it uh, on this level because they can use it to boost up. Make sure you do it on the... Oh, 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 oh. Let me see. Yeah, you guys get the point. Make sure you do it not here, but do it here. Just try to think as a raider a little bit. Now, because this is all triangle, I needed to place it like this. I don't see a problem with it because you can shoot it. Uh, you can use it uh, for shooting down rockets as well. And if they are managing to get in the center down below, and they are um, they starting to blow up the center part all the way up, all your loot is always on the side in the boxes. So let them fucking blow up. Let them race the rockets. Let them blow up the ladder hatch as well because, I mean. They are they are hurting each um, they are only hurting themselves so that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, we have a double door here. We have these stairs. And then we are coming to the loot room. And there we go. So I also place like small furnaces here. We have this. Um, I don't need to explain a lot about the loot room. It's just the shape, and you place the shelf and then the boxes in it. You're not gonna have any problems uh, with placing that because uh, we're not using um, our method that we used in previous videos. It's just normal, the doors are closing. And you guys know, if you log on, just place like twig stairs and things like that to get to the upper chests. If you log out, uh, just remove everything, easy as that. So we go too high. Over here, we I placed some doors as well to have some balconies for defending wise. Also here below, like that. We go more up, so we have a third level of the loot rooms. There we go. Now this is closed. Um, in the video, I placed like a ladder hatch here. I would do that. Place a ladder hatch. Um, because it's nice to have like a couple of snipers on top of your roof just in case uh, there is a breach or whatever doesn't matter uh, you can use this to to make it even more epic wise um, you can always place here like a couple of campfires to, to really light up the base um, it's very nice I tried a lot of things and it doesn't matter what I do in game when I have this base but it's 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 amazing the views are amazing with this base um, so yeah I hope you guys liked this video um, please uh, I told you guys in the last video as well the funny video by the way um, if you watch this video to the end uh, please give me a like give me a dislike it doesn't matter but uh, it's just I want to know if you like this design, if you like what I do. Uh, I want some, I did it a couple of months already now and a lot of people are watching my videos but uh, not many giving me likes or dislikes. I want to know what you guys think and I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Like this is like a base design for like very large clans. But the next video is going to be a solo base again. So I'm trying to be good for everybody. Um, but yeah, give me back some feed feedback. And um, if you have other suggestions for base designs, please comment in the video. Um, 
If you want me to uh, take a look at your base on your server, you can also message me with the comments. Um, yeah, I'm open for every everything. So um, yeah, I really hope you like this, guys. Um, see you later. Bye. I feel the most when I'm alone. I think of you cause when you're gone. I remember the feelings they're hidden in the dark. I never left my feelings shown. Your feelings show